Hey, this is Tyler with TJX Survival. Um, I spent a lot of time out in the middle of nowhere filming and I constantly have huge power supply needs. Um, because of that, today I have a review for you from Anchor. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so for the longest time, I have used a Goal Zero Sherpa 50. It's gotten the job done, with one exception. I recently spent some time in the Colombian jungle. And the reason why that's an exception is because of the light down there. There's about as much light as you have right now, which means there is not a lot of direct sunlight to charge solar panels, okay? So having said that, I really needed a larger battery capacity than what I get with the Sherpa 50. The Goal Zero Sherpa 50 has 5,200 milliamp hours, okay? That's decent, and it was good for when it, when it came out, but that is really a, not a lot of electricity. You, you need, essentially, to be carrying solar panels in order to get enough electricity to, for this to work. The positive is the fact that it has an AC converter, a light, a 12 volt uh, uh, out, and another laptop out. You can charge it and do a lot of different things. But really, when I compare it to the Anchor, the only value this has is the ability to do AC. And having said that, for, to go from a DC to an AC back to a DC to charge a camera, I'm losing a whole boat ton of all of that electricity all in the transfer process, okay? So this is all right, but when we compare the Sherpa 50 against the Sherpa 100, the Sherpa 50 has 5,200 milliamp hours, the Sherpa 100 has 8,800 milliamp hours, but the anchor that I've got right here, which is half the price of this Sherpa 50, has 28,000 plus milliamp hours. Basically, quick math on the top of my head, four or five times as much electricity held in this lighter, smaller, more simple device than in this, it becomes a real no-brainer for me. So the only drawback is that I can't do AC, but that's not a major issue because something like this I would use to power the, all the little USB-related devices like my GoPro. Um, I, would, I would use it to power my phone that connects to the GoPro, all of those minor things. And if I need electricity for something bigger, then I can either get the Wasabi charger for the batteries for my camera or just find another way so that I'm not going through the alternating current route. So having said this, I mean, it, it, it's just really hard to, uh, to be more blunt than these are super, super powerful batteries. They have a boat ton of electricity in a very small package. This is about two pounds. This one, I don't know the exact weight. I need to look up that, but it's much lighter. It's still a little bit of a brick because it's basically just a whole bunch of batteries. But the positive on this, um, is you can charge this puppy twice as fast. Since you're filling up the tank with so much more electricity, it's gonna take a little more time. But this has, this comes with these two uh, USB chargers and they plug right in here in the side so that you can plug in two USBs at the same time and charge it twice as fast. You don't need them both, uh, but it will charge twice as fast if you do use them both. So what I'll do is I'll end up just charging that guy like this. Now, as an idea, you should be able to take a, uh, one of the Goal Zero solar panels, if I get this to come undone, should be able to take two of these Goal Zero solar panels and connect it up to this and have a much more efficient and higher output system than if you were to use the 50 or the 100. Because I've got, um, this is a Goal Zero 20 watt, so I've got 20 watts of power in one port, 20 watts of power in another port from that second panel. And those two panels will charge this puppy very, very quickly. I'd like to give you an hour amount of time on how fast it will charge, but I don't know. It depends on whether or not you've got cloud coverage, direct sunlight, and all that fun stuff. If there's constant power uh, in good sunlight, about six hours, and this will be completely full. But again, we're filling a tank up that's uh, about four times or more the volume of electricity than in one of these other guys. Um, the other thing too is I've got three USB ports. I can charge my, uh, my, my audio devices, my Bluetooth device, I can charge my phone, I can charge a tablet, all at the same time. Last night I actually did that just to test it out and it only dropped it down by about a quarter. All it has is one button, okay? It's got smart technology so when you plug this into a power source it knows it needs to take electricity in. 
when you plug these other ports into a device that needs electricity, it knows it needs to push it out. Super, super simple. You can push the button right here, see that it's loaded up to four. And to put this in layman's terms, if you've got an iPhone that you use up the juice every single day, you can use this one device to charge it for a week solid without needing to get any more electricity. So it's just a tank, tank of electricity. So anyway, that's a quick discussion on the Anchor uh, power supply versus a similar size device, the Goal Zero power supply. This 50, again, is about 100 to, uh, $150 to $200, depending on where you're finding it on a place like eBay. Right now, these guys are 60 bucks, okay? 59 something and change. So, if you're interested in one of these, um, I highly recommend them, especially for USB devices, for cell phones. Um, if you're up backpacking for weeks at a time and you just want your, your, your satellite phone to stay connected, this is the way to go. Um, I'll leave a link for this down in the discussion box. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And hopefully this was valuable to you. I know it was to me. So if it was, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.